One second. Private or channel, okay. Channel. Live learning. I'm gonna try and restore your faith in channel meetings. Channel meetings have been a bit of a challenge uh, in the past where we send out a channel meeting invite and we're not sure about whether it is received by people in the channel. Now the benefit of channel meetings is that it keeps everything together in the chat, uh, the recordings there, any files that are shared, it's all kept in the team and available for the team. Now one option that we have here in New Teams is that when I set a channel meeting, I can choose to send personal invites. So let's take that option and take a look at what happens. It tells us that we're going to send personal invites to every person's inbox. That means that it's going to appear in their personal calendars and they'll be able to respond and manage it there. Whereas if this was unchecked, then it's just sitting there in the channel and people have to actively add it to their calendar. We're going to try both options. To start off with, let's send a personal invite. We'll send that. And we'll check out and see what happens for Laura, who's a member of this team. So there's the meeting. And over here in Laura's email, there it is, the weekly drop-in session. So Laura can choose to add that to her calendar, and then she can manage her availability around that. Fantastic. Uh, we'll go and have a look at the same channel there, so this is the live learning channel in Project Waihe, and there's the, the meeting uh, that she could join. So let's take a look at the other option. Uh, let's this time, we'll drop in a project meeting here, and we'll use the same channel. But this time we're not going to send a personal invite. We're going to try out this, uh, this option, see what happens, see what Laura sees. Uh, so this time send in the invite. Okay, so a project meeting, good. Does Laura get anything in her email? No. And so this, might be your intention. Maybe you want to make this an optional meeting for your team members so that they don't have to attend, but it can be there if they want to add it to their calendar. So what does she see within the team? Well, she does see the meeting, and this time when we go through to it, rather than having an RSVP button like we might have had in the previous meeting, uh, we can add it to our calendar. All right, so that action accepts it as an RSVP and also adds it to her calendar. And so back over here, that meeting, it shows that Laura has accepted it and it's a channel meeting so uh, she can attend there. So this is a good option, as I said, if you want to send that meeting invite to your team but make it optional. You can still add required attendees, people who uh, need to be part of the meeting, they're part of the decision making process or they're presenting to a group. Uh, but this meeting would be optional for the rest of the team. And as Laura has added it to her calendar, it actually shows her as, as optional because we didn't invite her sp explicitly. She's not a required attendee, but she's an optional attendee. And so she has accepted that meeting. So two options for sending channel meeting invites. And I really like this new switch. Notice that as we have used it, let's go back to our other meeting invite for the Champions Weekly drop-in, that we, in both cases, we can't change that setting. Once it's, once it's used, it's done. It does beg the question, if someone else joins the team and they need to also be part of this meeting series, then how do they also add it to their calendars? Now, the meeting invites were sent out to all team members at the time when this invite was created and sent. For someone to join this meeting and you know, be added as, as someone else to the series, then all we need to do is add their name to the optional box here. Uh, 
so that it sends it out to them. They've got the option to reply and say, yes, I'd like to attend. Uh, and that way they can attend that meeting and have it in their calendar. And with the other meeting, if it was a new person to the team, when they visit and see that meeting in the calendar, or rather in the channel, let's have a look at it in the channel, they would see the option here to add it to their calendar as an optional meeting. So there you go. Hopefully that's restored your faith in channel meetings. They're still really good idea for keeping everything together and keeping that meeting inside the team. So check it out and um, see if you have some successes around using it for your team too. That's Daryl as a service for Modern Work Mentor. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.